Firstly, I think we should thank all our speakers, uh, all our sponsors, uh, and all the chairs that we've had today because we've done, they've done a really great job, uh, and I think it's been an absolutely fascinating day. So let's join me in thanking them all. These events don't just happen. Uh, there's a lot of hard work that goes on behind the scenes. And the other people that we should thank are Martha and Erica, um, who've done all the organising for this and done a fantastic job. So thank you for both of you. Thank you to all of you as well, because you participated really well. Uh, I was a bit sceptical about Sl Slido when we first started. I think you've all got the hang of it really well. A little bit too well sometimes, um, but it's, it's been really good. Um, I think the sessions have really challenged us to, to think about some of our concepts about animal welfare. This morning, the Janet and John image of the two parents, the two children, the dog and two cats. Well, having sat and listened to this morning's speakers, uh, is that really a concept that we should be going on with in the future? Uh, I think there's some real challenges there when you start to think about the behaviour issues, both with the dogs and with the cats. Um, in, in terms of this afternoon, um, the equine side, does money beat welfare or does welfare beat money? It's a huge industry but there are some fantastic welfare challenges in there, and we really only scratched the surface of them this afternoon. There's a lot more to talk about later. In terms of, of research, um, the motivational interviewing is fantastic, isn't it? I only wish I'd known that 40 years ago. I'd have been much better on the dance floor than ever I was. <laughs> Over trimming feet, making, uh, making them more painful, isn't that perfectly simple? If I cut my fingernails and cut the ends off my fingers, I think it would be more painful. But the practical implications of the app that's being produced uh, for sheep trimming stands to have some direct benefits on millions of sheep. And that's really what AWF is about, some direct welfare benefits in the real world. And lastly, we've heard about the, the Cinderella service. Uh, Mark and his, uh, his colleagues uh, under-resourced, overworked, uh, and in many places, uh, under-trained as well. And there's a lot to do to resolve that. Isn't it interesting that 10 years after the animal welfare legislation first came in, the new acts, that we're just about now getting round to putting the meat on the bones that, that were there in, in the acts. So a lot more work to do there, and it will be interesting to see after Thursday who picks that up and who takes that on. So a number of things to do before you leave, please. First one is, we need your money. Please fill in one of these uh, donation forms and particularly the gift aid bit. Five pounds a month is only a little over a pint of beer. You won't miss one pint of beer a month, will you? <laughs> um, don't forget the feedback forms that uh, Pete's already mentioned. Um, and the more that you can do to help AWF, and particularly the specialist divisions, I hope we can work much more closely together in future uh, to, to, to further our mutual aims to improve welfare. If you're going to go to the House of Commons, please do. Don't forget to keep your name badge. Don't forget to take your invitation with you because they won't let you pass the gate without your invitation. Um, if you haven't got one, or if, like me, you've forgotten yours, I'm sure Martha will provide you with one. So thank you all very much. So that concludes the day. Uh, on behalf of the trustees, thank you very much for attending. We look forward to seeing you next year.